So keeping your camera equipment clean is really, really important. Not just for beautiful photos, but for also keeping the value of your expensive equipment in tip top shape. <clears throat> At greetings all. So maintaining your equipment is pretty important and it doesn't actually take that long to do. So I'll just sort of let you go over a little bit of what I do to keep my equipment all nice and ship shape. So first I just want to quickly go over lenses. Lenses is really um, one that um, can pretty much ruin a photograph if your lenses haven't been maintained properly. So a couple of things that I've actually know a few people who don't do this, but it's really important when your lenses are being used is obviously that you've got your front cap and your back cap, your rear cap, are actually on. These stop dust and anything else like fingerprints if it's touching vital lenses. Now everybody's obviously aware of the, obviously the front lens, but also as well as don't forget, you've got a lens at the back. So it's not only about keeping lenses clean, but it's also about keeping filters. Now, this is a polarizer that's actually on here. So I'm gonna be taking this off because believe it or not, you need to clean these as well. So let's just put this down on here. There we are. <clears throat> so the first thing that I always start doing is a visual inspection of the lenses themselves. And it's just to make sure that there is no fingerprints or marks on it. Cause you really need to look at, what you're cleaning first because you don't really want to unnecessarily clean your lenses and the reason being is because if you're constantly cleaning you're increasing the risk of scratching the lens the front lens on this is, is going to be pretty much clean and the reason being is because i've always got either a polarizer on it or just an actual clear uh, lens uh, like filter well it's not really a filter but it's just a clear piece of glass that's on the top and the reason being is because it's a couple of quid to replace this as where it's a lot you know hundreds of pounds to replace your lens that's why I always keep one on top you're probably going to hear a lot of people saying don't do this because it can affect your photo or whatever yeah I suppose it may can it may not I really don't notice any difference so I'm going to actually carry on doing it the lens itself let's give a quick look over the lens I can actually see a couple of little spots um, on the front lens and the back looks pretty clear. The first thing that you want to actually use is that these are a cup of quid and they're just a blower. And it's no physical contact to the lens whatsoever. And if you can do the cleaning and get rid of any dust with just this, stop. So once you've done it, stop. So the first thing is you just blow it. I can't just see a bit of a fingerprint on that. And that removes quite a lot of dust. If you do find you've got bigger chunks of dust, uh, I've actually got a, a variety of these pens. Um, this little uh, part here is for actually doing the mirror and then you obviously you've got your gentle little brush um, as well but I don't actually use the brush on that one because I actually like this little it's like more like a lipstick actually um, so they're, they're very fine and it's literally very just gently the brush over the lens make sure that you do get the ones that are designed for obviously cleaning lenses and don't just use any brush because the bristles need to be very very fine another solution that i actually tend to use as well is the cleaning fluid this is a multi-purpose cleaning fluid it's you can actually use this for cleaning the the sensor within the camera itself i don't actually use this for cleaning the sensor i've, I've actually got a specific liquid 
purely just for doing the, the sensor so it's not a multi-purpose one that's specifically for the for the sensor and this one is for the general cleaning of the camera and the lenses now i have got tons of these little um cloths and this one actually came with um, the filters that i purchased from go um, i've got about three or four of these so when you're actually going to be using the cloth you need to remember just nice circular motions very very gentle just like that and the reason to do circular motions is because it will stop streaks because if you guys go from side to side you're going to get a streak which is obviously you want to avoid if you find that you've still got the fingerprint or the smudge mark this is where the cleaning fluid will come in do not spray this directly onto the lens you literally need just a small amount on your cloth and then you'll do the same again small circular motion that is looking beautiful so another visual inspection make sure we don't have any smudges should see no streaks no lines nothing it should be that is lovely let's do the same with the bottom as well no dust or anything like that at all. No, that one is absolutely fine. And then remember as well, the cap's put on. Um, but always remember as well to do your um, filters. This one is actually really bad. But the same principles apply as you would do if it was lens. You just tend to blow the dust off if you can. This one is actually quite bad, so I am actually going to be using the spray on this one. So uh, you'll have to bear with me. You don't want too much of it either because this is where you are going to get streaks. Oh, I can't believe how bad this one was. It's almost like it's um, like salt water or something that's been on it. I've been doing quite a lot of um, seascape and stuff actually on the sea front, which is um, that is so bad. And the best thing to do as well is that it is don't put too much pressure it means that you have to go over it two three times go over it two three times don't try to rush and get it done in one go because that is where you increase your risk of scratches and believe me you don't want scratches i mean even on your filters you don't really want on want scratches because um I mean, they cost money as well. I mean, that is looking good. So I'm going to put that back on my nice clean lens. That is good. And the UV lens back on. And we're done. Uh, 
And when I've obviously do this, I go over all of the lenses, even the ND filters, my UV lens, my polarizer, I'll go over all of them with the same methods. And I always keep them in either the case or the tip that they actually were supplied in. And the reason being is because that's what they're designed for. They're designed for the protection and to keep them as clean as possible. Okay, quickly onto the camera. And there's a couple of things I actually use on this one. And, and I know this is more, it, it's not about stopping the functionality or anything, but it, it is keeping the, your camera looking nice. So, you know, regular cleaning of just the outside of the body and the LCD screen is going to keep the camera, well, it's going to keep the value of the camera. So, I mean, if you do look at changing your equipment, if you've got a nice looking camera that's been looked after and been cleaned, you're going to get a lot more money than one that's got scratches and dents and marks and mud and stuff that's all over it. So keeping that clean is just as important as, as your lenses as well. And for this one, but I, it's quite simple because I've got a different cloth. Yes, I've got a different cloth for different things. And I've got these wet and dry wipes. And normally I take the straps off for this, but it, it's a bit of a pain because trying to put them back on again is annoying. So let's just get the, uh, I'll be cleaning that lens in a minute. And I'll be doing the inside as well. So with the wet wipes, which is there, and I also have it somewhere else. Where else we put them? Put a new packet of them somewhere. Nope. Where's my cotton buds? Ah, ha, ha, there we go. Right, and I've got some cotton buds. I'll show you what they're for in a moment. So I'll literally wipe. That's the dry. There we go. So we have the white for which is the wet and the dry one. And I just if you just go over the whole body, contacts and all, as I think these ones are alcohol based, I believe believe. All the nooks and crannies. To be fair, I've probably done this about three times since I've ever, since I've had the camera and I've had it a couple of years, but it does keep it looking nice. And you do get fingerprints and probably murder or something like that on it, which you, you do want to clean it off because you don't really want to stain or scratch. Okay, now we've done that. And I don't know whether you can actually see on there, but it is... It, it has pulled off quite a bit of dirt, so I'm glad. And I'm just getting the wipe over with a dry one. Like so. And obviously the screen as well. Um, this is obviously using the, the solution that the, the general solution that I've got actually got here. Same same principle, boys. Little spray on the LCD screen, and you'll 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 be amazed on the dirt that actually comes off of your LCD screen. And this is this solution here that I've got here is actually real good for the screens of your mobile phones as well. Brilliant. Now, I was telling you that uh, obviously I've got these little um, cotton buds, and there are reasons why these are really, really handy because your viewfinder is really hard to get into, and that's what these are for. So, it's the same principle as you did before get your blower, you can blow most of the dust out, but I'm telling you now, you will not get all of the dirt and the dust that's actually gathered in here up just by the blowing. 
but you will get quite a lot of it out. But same again, cotton bud. I'm going to spray away because I don't want to spray it on the. And then it's just into the side. I mean, it is quite difficult to do circular motions, but oh, that's so much better. Hmm. Quite a bit of dust came out of that. That is beautiful. Now I've actually switched cameras for this one. There's a reason being is because I've, I've, it was only last week when I actually did the sensor um, on the other one. So, but this one hasn't been done for a while. And the sensors are really important to to do and keep clean. Um, I will be doing um, another tutorial, basically on how to check for spots actually on the sensor itself. Um, but it does involve obviously a bit of uh, a white wall and photographs and um, like Photoshop or something like that that's that's capable of detecting the spots. But I'm not going to do that on this one because I know it does need doing. But we're going to use the same things that we did before, which is going to be the blower. And we're going to be using these sensor cleaning swabs now it's really important that you get the correct size and the reason being is because when you use these you don't go back and forth back and forth over the sensor it is one wipe so you need to make sure if we just get one out we can show you that the width is the width of your sensor. So it will be on the sensor, across, it's done, disposed of. And that is literally how quick it is. I will be using my super solution for this one. So the first thing you've got to do is you need to put obviously your camera, and it's going to depend on the camera that you have into the cleaning mode, which you're going to find on here, sensor cleaning. Battery level too low. Brilliant. Let's go and change the battery first. All right, I just need to quickly change the battery on this because it's saying that the battery is low. So I've got some charge, really, isn't it? That's better. Right. Let's try that again into sensor cleaning mode. And what happens then is on the sensor, the mirror will move out of the way and then you can see the sensor. We're going to do the same thing as that we did um, previously is go through each and every step, which will be obviously the blower first to blow off any of the dusts. Okay. And obviously it's really difficult to actually see the sensor itself and to see if there's any smudging, because if you look at it, you think, yeah, that's fine. But it might not be. There's the real tiny, small specks of dust on that sensor and yeah it's not good right so i'm going to use my super super solution here which is literally just one drop on here and it and that's all that is needed just wait a couple of seconds so that the liquid is over the whole end we'll then place this in the left hand side and then we'll just move it across just the once and that is it and unfortunately I haven't got really uh, any way of getting in to show you how it's done but I'm pretty sure you're going to get the gist of uh, get the gist of it into the corner one wipe and that is it that will be disposed of got quite a few of them there and that's done um, once you've done that that is 
it you could then turn the camera off and you'll see the mirror will then fall back into place for which then I will use on my other tool which is for cleaning which is that one the mirror itself which it's got a bendy sort of a head so it can fit in really well and then that will be the mirror clean I need to try and get into the light here for this one that is good And we're done. So there you go, guys. Hope you found that uh, uh, useful. But just want to add a couple of little side notes to this. And you can buy these kits um, on Amazon, eBay, whichever they are. And they're really not too expensive. But a couple of things to look out for, especially when you're buying the brushes that are actually going to be cleaning your um, sensor itself. Make sure you do get the correct size because, like I say, you don't want to go back and forth, back and forth. It's just not good practice at all so make sure you get the correct one for either a full frame or a crop sensor and also as well how often do you clean your camera and your lenses it's all going to depend on the environment that you're in i tend to clean my lenses quite often because being by the sea you do tend to get lots of white deposits on the lenses itself and also on the the filter so i do tend to try to clean them a little bit more often than I actually clean the sensor on the camera and that itself. But the th one thing to do is just, just have a look at the lens and, and the camera. And if you see that there is a spot or something, do a kick wipe and get it off. And if you're noticing that you're constantly getting a, a dot or a speck or something on all of the photos you're taking, this is probably an indication that you've got a bit of dust that's either on the lens or more than likely it's there's going to be a speck of dust that's actually on the sensor itself. But anyway, Thanks for joining me on this one, guys. Hope you found it useful. And uh, let me know in the comments. How often do you clean yours? Have you never cleaned it? But until the next time, take care, stay safe, and I'll see you soon.